Welcome back once again to my exam coaching classes. So today we are going to see a very very important topic for almost every competitive exam that is simplification. So when we talk about simplification we have some very important uh, questions selected from previous question papers. I have selected many questions from previously asked questions. We will be solving those questions today and the important thing is we are going to learn how fast we can solve these type of questions without even solving it okay without even solving it so i'll be giving you some of the important tricks where you can use those tricks to solve these type of questions mentally that is without pen and paper okay many many of the questions we will be solving mentally or we will be solving using shortcut methods direct write the answer without solving much much so what will happen we can we can save a lot of time we can save a lot of time so that methods are we are going to learn in this video so here is your first question so let us see the first question what is the question the question is 20 percentage of 1500 plus 22.5 percentage of 1000 equal to a question mark is given and four options are also given to you so this is one of the previously asked question it is selected from rba assistant exam so let us see let us write that exam here uh, that uh, write that uh, question here and then let us solve it i'll tell you how easily you can find out the answer without even solving much here what is asked 20 percentage of 1500 plus 22 point 5 percentage of 1000 is equal to what? This is what we need to find out. So 20 percentage of, let us go like this. 20 percentage of 1500. So you need not to do much. 10 percentage of 1500 is what? 150. So 20 percentage of 1500 will be equal to what? This part you can say it is 300. Now 22.5 percentage of 1000. We know 22.5, double of 22.5, that is 45. 45 percentage of 1000 will be 450. So 22.5 percentage will be half of 450, that is 225. So when you add, you got this is equal to 525. So without solving much, that is what I want to tell you. Without solving much, you got the answer 525. And from the given options, you can directly write the answer. This is very, very important and you need to practice solving these type of questions in this method. Otherwise, if you find out what is 20 percentage of 1500, you can find out 20 by 100 multiplied by 1500 plus 22.5 divided by 100 multiplied by 1000. And you start solving all these things, cutting zeros and zeros, then multiplying 20 into 15 to get 300. Again, cutting zeros and this 22.5 into 10, you got 225 you got the answer 525 so answer is same but the point here is you are you are you are using consuming a lot of time here so all competitive exams what we need to do is time management is very important and we need to solve these type of questions as early as possible without using pen and papers if you can solve and find out the correct answer then that is it that is it okay so this is the method just remember 10 percentage of any number just put one zero out so 20 percentage will be 300 directly write it here and 22.5 percentage use 22.5 to 45 percentage just double why because we can remove the uh, decimal point here so 22.5 directly even since the since the number is thousand here you can directly do it also percentage means you can cut to zeros percentage means what this percentage means this percentage will be here as a hundred so this hundred and this two zeros you can cut remaining ton you can multiply here see one more ex one one more method the same question let me write it here again 20 percentage of 1500 plus 22.5 percentage of 1000 so when i say thou percentage when i have this symbol percentage this percentage means what divided by 100 only so you can cut this zero and this zero 20 into 15 directly you can write 300 
Now 22.5 percentage. Percentage means what? This person, this symbol means what? Divided by 100. So cut this 110. 22.5 multiplied by 10 again 225. So directly we are writing the answer 525 and we are marking the correct answer from the given options. So this method, if you practice, you can save a lot of time. You can save a lot of time. And again, again, I am reminding you, competitive exams are virtually a race against time only. So you have to practice and increase your speed. Let us go to the next question. So these type of questions are very, very common in all type of competitive exams. These questions are based on simplification. Here, before attempting this question, we need to understand a very, very important concept. What is the concept? The concept is... Suppose we have A and B, then A percentage of B will be equal to B percentage of A. You take any numbers, X percentage of Y will be equal to Y percentage of X. First number and second number. First number that is A, second number B. A percentage of B or you can say X percentage of Y that will be equal to Y percentage of X. So using that concept, let us solve this particular question. So let me write this question again here. Here what is given? 80 percentage of 4 into 1.5. That is 1.5 into 4. 1.5 into 4 plus question mark is equal to 24. That means 80 percentage of this number is 24. 80 percentage of this number equal to 24 that is given 80 percentage of this full number is equal to 24 what did i tell you x percentage of y will be equal to y percentage of x x percentage of y will be equal to y percentage of x in that case 80 percentage of this number is 24 so this much percentage of 80 also will be equal to 24 that means 1.5 into 4 plus question mark this many percentage of 80 also will be equal to 24 x percentage of y equal to y percentage of x 80 percentage of this number will be equal to this much percentage of 80 so what percentage of 80 is 24? We know H into 3, 24. So 30 percentage. We know 30 percentage of 80 equal to 24. That means this number should be equal to 30. This number should be equal to 30. So now let us see. 1.5 1 into 4, 6. 6 plus what question mark will give you 30? The question mark will be equal to 6 plus 24 will give you 30. So a question mark will be equal to 24. So accordingly from the given options, you can find out which is the correct option and mark the correct option. Think in this way, X percentage of Y will be equal to Y percentage of X. Or you can say A percentage of B will be equal to B percentage of A. In that concept, 80 percentage of this given number is 24 that means this much percentage of 80 also will be equal to 24 what percentage of 80 is 24 8 into 3 24 that is 30 percentage so 30 percentage of 80 is 24 means whatever is given inside this bracket that should be equal to 30 so put that here 1.5 into 4 6 6 plus what will give you 30 24 6 plus 24 will give you 30 accordingly you can mark the correct option so this method will give you a really competitive advantage over other students okay what you can do is by solving this type of questions you can save a lot of time that time you can use for difficult questions so practice with the more and more questions that will definitely help you so let us go with one more questions like this 2 by 7 into 5 by 6 into 3 by 8 into question mark equal to 90. So again it is a multiplication here. 2 by 7 into 5 by 6 into 3 by 6 what is that 3 by 8 into what question mark will give you 90. This is a question given. So a, B, C, D, four options are also given to you. What is the easy method to solve this type of questions? Here you can see, 
If you multiply all these things and then divide by these numbers, it will be difficult for you to find out the answer and you will be solve, you will be consuming a lot of time here. So the easiest method what you can do here is 2 and 3, 2 into 3 is 6, you can cut that here. So 2 into 3, 6 and 6 and 6 you can cut. So the remaining is what? 5 by 56 into question mark will give you 90. 5 into what will give you 90? Here just you can cut this 5 and 90 how many times? 1 and 8, 56. That means question mark will be equal to what? 18 into 56. What is 18 into 56? What is the easy method to find out 18 into 56? 1008, 1008. How I got 18 into 56? What's the, See, we have seen crisscross method 18 and 56. You can multiply like this. 8, 6 are 48, balance 4. Then 6 and 40, 46 plus 4, 50, balance 5. 1, 5 are 5, 5 plus 5, 10. The crisscross method. These two numbers cross and add and last two numbers 1008 so this way you can find out the correct option so what you need to do is you are just simplifying the given question to the simplest form and then finding out the answer let us go with one more question seven and a half minus two and a half equal to 50 by question mark let us write that seven and a half minus two and a half is equal to 50 by question mark. You need to find out what will come in place of this question mark from the given option. So here you can see 7 and half and 2 and half equal to 50 by 5. The first thing what you have to do here is cut this half and half. 7 minus 2, 5. 5 equal to 50 by question mark. What 50 divided by what will give you 5? Question mark will be equal to 10. Or you can say cut this 5 and this 50 10 times so you'll get the question mark so question mark will give you 10 accordingly you can answer from the given option okay so these type of questions are very very common students very common for almost every competitive exams okay so take more and more questions and prepare well so that you can increase your speed speed and accuracy this is the only two things you have to develop to crack every competitive exam so we will meet with the new tricks and new questions in the next video. Take care.